On New at 6, a shortage of drugs often used to treat ADHD is putting extra stress on parents this school year. Drugs like Adderall have been in short supply since last fall. Teresa Bowles looks at how it's affecting par parents and patients, and she has some tips to share from a child psychiatrist. The FDA's shortage website lists four drug makers as either having limited supplies of certain medications or the medications are unavailable altogether. Disorganized, distracted, and unfocused. That's what Tina Kimbrell says her life is like without ADHD medication. I can't fathom going through the entire holidays with no meds. And the same goes for her son. I'm kind of worried now about when his, his next prescriptions do, if he's going to be able to get it, because he's a freshman in college, so just the idea of you know, being on his own and being in a dorm and living on his own for the first time. They both take Concerta. Luckily, her son's prescription has been filled for a few months, but when she tried to fill hers... There's no chance of getting it. It's on back order, maybe six to eight weeks. ADHD medications, including Adderall, have been hard to come by since last year due to manufacturing shortages and higher demand. The FDA reports supplies of some meds could increase by the end of the year. Patients that I've seen who have been stable on their medicines for a period of time suddenly find themselves in this position where they don't have this extra tool to help them. Psychiatrist Dr. Suvrat Bargave says patients have called him in a panic and parents are fearing the lack of meds could make their child's school year more stressful. The symptoms can interfere with their ability to learn, to uh, retain information, to participate in class. To help, Dr. Bargave says to set up a family routine and a study schedule, talk to your kids about their goals, and perhaps meet with their teacher. In some cases, we've been able to make adjustments to what they've been on. If they're able to find a certain dose in the pharmacy, you might want to talk to your health care provider about what medications may even have come out since the time you were on the one that you were on for the, these past few years. And there may be an even better option out there for you or your child. In Fayette County, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News.